Please welcome Chris Osto. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for you all coming to see us read. Um, so I want to thank uh, Hillary uh, and the Inkwell Poetry uh, Series for um, hosting this and the book bar. Uh, so I'm going to start off tonight reading some new work uh, from my third manuscript called Swift Cinder. Um, I want to dedicate this to uh, my mother and my late brother from which this work came, came from. Um, so here's uh, an excerpt from Swift Cinder. And it's, um, it's, it's tended to be uh, sort of a book long poem. So, sulfur striking, sulfur strikes, sulfur struck. A lighter light of lit. Coom spark, coom ignite, coom fuel, coom flame, coom combustion, coom blast. Lenient blast, blasting, latent blast, blasted, lasting, steadfast. From fire, from ignition, buckshot splitting air, cracking space, ricochets off tree bark, tree limbs, scattering brush, climbing, high up above Bear Canyon into the mouth. Wednesday, April 9th, 2014, roughly about three, three o'clock in the afternoon. This specific moment and time, no different from the odious Big Bang, set a single course, a determinate event, billions of years in the making, first refractive light against stars, lifting split light against lit faces, bringing this moment fastidiously forward toward a series of collision. Envelopment of toiling flame, engulfing in combustion, gas, subatomic particles, orbit out of control, nucleus circles, expansion girds into guardrails, flying fenders in swift swirls, oil sludge, petroleum, plastic, and metal, the gestalt sending his ghost into nearby thickets. Ash, ash flake fall softly. Ash, ash flakes fall in soft particles. Ash, ash release soft particles. Ash, ash release of all particles. Leaving a gold vacuum of space. There, Kuyun. There, Kuyun. There, Kuyun. Indiscriminate objects strewn, forming dashboard, quick shot echoing along Highway 70. Collision translates probability, cohesion of metallic abrasion of beauty. Upon impact, birds scatter, birds cease, gunshot blast, ricochets again off tree barks, darting up the canyon again, 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 and again. Abbreviate oblique asymptote, never meeting its predetermined coordination. Termi terminus, endpoint, destination, a formulaic mathematical formula. Approaches a straight line, a given course of action, curving the only variable, bow of, of equation, eminent infinity, high rate of speed. This straight line continues. Approaching, never supposing to meet its camber. As significant the value of a symptote, we do not fall together from ash to ash, not with fallen flesh, but to fall with flesh. Asymptotic straight line, final skid, perpetual motion, and slow motion stills, slow motion still, preceding month, slow motion, long vowel continuation, constant yearning of the letter O. Late into disappearing night, disappearing into the black wisp of air, absolve this swift cinder. 
past midnight the following night, eardrums ring over silence, extending artery encumbers, saintly candles burn their somber sway. Petrol sings sense of sanctifying beeswax, odorous, incumbent. Oh, how the flames flickers. <coughs> Leaning shadows cast against obscuring walls. Warped shapes dance, burns, consummate along minuscule granular surfaces. That chosen scuttle cup light and its fixiant flux, silence and amaphorous, veals cascade after tiny pirouette flames. Fragments only fragments. I sink in the snow, shovel in the earth, and the road in this grass and mountains. Thomas Solomon. Second section, slant, shoulder impact. His arm extends a patient, persistent throw at flat river stone scathed surface, tapping light across calm waters and mirror light as though each gripping rock inside his grasp grows tight. Muscles jolt in slow motions, gather in a slither. Docile stone glides through a sideways slant. Silence from a young wave toward moments come hither to a specific moment with rippling water collides. Wait, oh wait. Particulates scatter atop a laden fuel mistaken for water. Can anyone mistake a plausible death-defying scenario to sever umbilical, umbilical as dual wake from dream, a wish cannot want to ease invisible strains of scattering car parts had not driven so opposite that hastened his departure so to such a thriving continent inside this cricket house. Into night our body lies awake, crickets, cricket songs assemble against the judder of paper wings. When moth wings dust dis disperses, light variations proceeds, allure into soaring death flight, twirling center light. Ambient beyond water, absent into night, our body lie. Awake atop a flagstone, cricket songs assemble, scratching their paper wings and chirruping into desert clefts. We both gather in our beds. We stay to rub some hiss, some strike sparingly, or first gathers in masses, sand-covered arid slabs. Water is all around as slither as old sediment, a crisscross tinder fist, marks intersections, white lines pass back and forth, through and over. Then the white bear comes charging, breaking through the brush and thicket, musters old dirt into heaves of glass, sprays sinew inside wrists and joints, divulges over our torrid air masses, Empty these market calculations, 4.73 through 80. Relatives afar in skeletal trailer houses can't see our saunter. His small hands clutch mine where there's no rainfall, suckling the half-empty bottle of apple juice. Over rocks and sand, the hum of power lines tremble, leading us across the dusty land into Canaan. 81 through 88. Lights flicker as gas station at Rio Puerco. Night insects swirl at eight millimeter films trails, erect in a makeshift glass ice case. A polar bear watches over us. From a distance they enter a bar, late night into evening. A few hundred yards away, our eyes leave. The stare of a white bear who oscillates loudly over the building. But through burrows, a forest is still a forest, just as a door is still a door, through a door, through a forest, exists or enters this child. In it, from swinging hinge across the threshold, this child, small and grim, still finds solace among the boughs. A gray hawk in flight, the sedge wren does scatter, leaving one feather in a tether as falling leaf pass over lower jawbone through esophageal aqueduct, tiny surfeit, self, self, saliva discharge det detonates fireflies. 
after collapse of breath, surpass a slither of arid forced wind, septal septet mortar sings, a mute clay expels morsel lips, hastens exonerate bars, and trudge pace meadows before just before expiry, leaves in a hidden grove, a smudge of severed branches. Night moves into diamond sparkle that shimmer layers about our eyes, immersed down into the cradle valley inside, a cluster of naked words. Assuring daybreak is still coming, the Sandia Mountains steepled behind. I think I'm gonna stop with that, but, because um, it goes on and on and on. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna conclude with, uh, with uh, a poem from uh, my second manuscript called Genesis, and Genesis is sort of crossed through. Um, uh, this poem that I'm going to read was uh, published in uh, Commonplace, uh, the Journal of Early American Life, the University of Connecticut. Um, it was a part of a series called The uh, Stories of Native uh, Presence, the Survivance of Commemoration of the 151st Anniversary of Sand Creek Massacre, which was put together by Billy Stratton, a professor of English at BU. So the piece is called A Thunderous Bloodstorm. The rain fell the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, Genesis 7, 12. It's been redacted. Dawn bleeds through biosphere back to a beginning. Clouds gather from onyx and waterfall. In that beginning, she, he, our hands caress. In that beginning, she, we, he were meant to exist. In that beginning, she, he, our voices heaves immemorially. Blood-webbed eyes clamp down around fingers. Scenes of sideway, sideways light filters through glass caps. Tireless legs climb up the white mountainside. Pervious clay mesh between toes and dermal ridges. Sol soluble spines harder than the exertion to higher ground. Tan liquid skirts channels, continuous embankments. Slate slides underfoot, coursing downward, now and before. Top center vein mends through reformation of ochre skin. Memories of mankind work in this way. Memory of skin, which is our body. Memory of milk, which is our feminine. Memory is a fist, which is our masculine. Memory is cradle, which is our born. Memory is a dead heap, which is our stolen. Memory is a body, which is our massacred. Memory is, pl is placental land, our Americas. Our memories will reach the mountaintop. Baptismal levels rise rapidly, as it always has. Clad bone and flesh pour from basalt mouse cliffs. Dense clusters of, by the way, sailor jellyfish engorge with algae. A hollow tree trunk hastily purges somnolent vessel. Thunderous static charges trade tasks of inert limbs. Speckling, speckling granules flout outwards, coating white eyelids. Lightning edges surge through tangled fingers. Swollen arms grapple alongside a timber raft. A shallow stutter set mucus currents, floating slowly away. A whitewash membrane collides into a small piece of island womb. Curtain flaps and suspend inside a buoyant flux of cavity. Tight, ruddy skin ewers bob effortlessly, adjacent to widening legs. Stagnant waves balance through droplets as it always has. This, beginning, undulates toward a whirling abyss. A grand, empty, opulent complex bulging painfully from the navel. An ubiquitous scar imprints the base of every abdomen. Umbilical cord pulls us closer towards disintegration. Sacral bone cleaves each body towards a state of decay. Tiny blood bulbs fuse with stretching tarpaulin. Centrifuge plunges us into an emerald slant of shadow. A pelvic descent carries us through the breakage of plasma. Broken shell and stone carry refrains of lanterns and litany. An elongating ebb stretches inside our grip upon each arm. We tether towards the outer ends of the black plastic lining. 
and, and eminence save lost in a slog of murky epilatum. A gilding silence hovers over a whispery monument. Twinkling ghosts cut intermittent signals of encumbering monsoons. A marching sound of water droplets reveals sulfurous mists. Epidural shapes drape and drain a corroded arroyo. Cross current liquid ages blood, blood fruit cakes, casks as uh, for infallible lips. The northern hemisphere air is a stoic stagnant stance. Seawater droplets from ancient liquid falling into faces. Fire ants and pinacate beetles scurry into burrows. Coves oxidize in a pleat of matching pelvic lap lapets. Barn swallows take no flight today. Small air on a forearm sway by the unseen wisps. Loose tendrils combine an expansion of deep clouds. Dzifgaizani, sacred white mountains, still visible in our approach. Infant whales for first breath at Mount Sinai Medical Center. In the thickest part of the Congo, ver vergers flourish. Plankton multiplies in the Atlantic, North Atlantic currents. Magma toils as afterbirth beneath the Earth's crust. Tectonic plates ease with lenient uh, fractures. Basalt plummets off the eastern sea cliffs onto colliding waves. Accruing red uh, beads course down the cliffs of the sides of nostrils. Oceanic sprays dust the coastlines. Placental fluid washes the floor and a prenatal unit. The last remake, remaining black rhino falls to its knees. A noose pulls tighter before dangling on a closet rack. A sapphire car stops abruptly as an ambulance darts by. A murder of crows gathers outside a window, planning demise. A ceiling fan rotates as a concave of last breath. The sun unleashes a power, powerful solar flare on March 11th, 2015. Uh, sunrise extinguishes the last fire in the Arctic Circle. Tears of red wine saturate our mouths as we emerge. Flailing limbs convulse in a blurry apparition to the world. Pelvic diagrams contract and constrict uncontrollably. Letters lose sound as fluid rush to the skull, causing syncope. Training wheels detach from a child's bicycle in Florida. Somatic cells begin their innumerable splinter. Cocosinia magnifica separates her elytra to take flight. A fleet of fire ants dismantles and consumes a mouse carcass. Tremble, tumbleweeds hurt across highway as they are shepherded by gale forces. Blood passes from one vacuum to another. X will always be as anomalous blood in our identity as the collapsing center of a desert universe. America arrives. Thank you. Thank you. Another round for wow. So we're going to 